Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We are going to make bobby pins as promised. This is the basic one. Here's one with a little dangle on it. Isn't that cute? And here's a little flower. So what you're going to need is some 26 gauge wire, preferably matching the bobby pin. About 8 inches or 6 inches, just depends on what you're going to do. Then you're going to need a round nose plier. I'm just going to use my step bail making pliers. A couple pliers. This is bent nose and chain nose. I forgot what these were called last time. <laughs> and some cutters. So the first thing you're going to do is, we'll do this one first. You're going to take this wire. Let's see. Here we go. You're going to wrap it around five times. One, two. Three, four, five. Give it another push right up to the top. And you want your longer wire to be on the outside going in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up. Snip that off. And we're going to pinch that down flat. Now we're going to add, I, you can do this before or after, but I've already wrapped it. So I'm just going to feed it on there. Add my bead. And now we want to give that a little bend so that it will lay flat. And it's coming out the back, so I want to come over this way and bring that between the bobby pin. So now we're going to feed the wire between the wire that's in the back and between the bead, sandwiching it on the top part of the bobby pin. I'm going to give it a tug. Feed it down between the bead and the bobby pin. There we go. Gonna just push that over a little bit so that that will hang better. Isn't that cute? I think that's adorable. Cute little bobby pins. Now let's do the flower. Gotta get some bobby. You gotta get another bobby pin. This is the one that I used eight inches, and we're gonna feed on. Five of these beads. You could do more if you want. Now we're going to come to the center. Give that a pinch and we're going to twist it just like that. One of these is going to come around the back and come back up front. And now our little center bead, one wire going this way and one wire going this way and we're going to pull that down. Now we have to feed these wires down through the middle. The 
get that as close as possible. There we go. Now it's on the side right now, and that's perfectly fine. So that was one, two, three, four, five. We're going to snip that off. Push it all the way back over. Wrap that in there like that. We're going to tip that front up now. We're going to feed it through. All right, so now I've got this pushed over onto the side. And we're going to clip that off right up there. And if you can, pinch that wire down. And then push that back up on top. Isn't that cute? Very simple. A little more elaborate with a little dangle and little flowers. Aren't those cute? You guys can do whatever you want with these. You could even add little chains if you wanted and hang stuff from them. Hope you give these a try and let me know what you think of them in the comments. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate you stopping in and visiting. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video with your other wire friends, and we will see you next time. Love you. Bye-bye.